quickly. Gotta set up the bedding here for you guys. Who do you think is gonna win? This triple threat match. E. Janitor Dan. Will it be Big Ross? Or will it be Scuba Steve? So you're betting now? Put, put bets in. Who you think is going to win? Ronnie going in hard on Janitor Dan. I think I'll put my bet on Scuba Steve. Scuba Steve had an interesting uh, start in Strange Wrestling last week when he uh, he had a pretty crazy fight with uh, Jobby. And he ended up being the victor there, so can he make that too? And then, of course, we've got Big Ross in here. Now, Big Ross... Big Ross hasn't had uh, very much luck, let's just say. Big Ross uh, is looking for a win because he's he's yet to get one. But uh, but he's hopeful now. And of course, the victor from last week's match, Janitor Dan. Janitor Dan is just a regular man. He, he's a man. He's Dan the man. The regular man. You know, he, all he cares about is cleaning up. Getting uh, getting these streets streets cleaned. Let's see what he does today. Came off with a victory last week, so maybe he's still uh, still got a little bit in him. Maybe he's ready to show the strange wrestling world. Who Jim the Dan is? Now bets will cease at the ring of the bell. Ooh. The there he is, folks. Making his way to the ring from Paris Island, South Carolina, weighing in at 130 pounds. Dan. Dan Dan. In a three-way triple threat match last week. A Falls Count Anywhere Extreme Iron Man match with uh, Aiden Bursk and Mr. Slappy Beef. Came off victorious there in his initial matchup. Now 1-0 for his record. All he wants to do is keep this world clean. There's a little dust over there. There's a little dust over there. There's a little dirt over there, some grime you can clean there. That's all Janitor Dan cares about. And here he comes, Big Ross. We've seen him in the ring four times now. Get a win last week. Last week, Big Ross went on one-on-one -on -one against Wasabi Kid, who is the prestigious champion. It was a non-title match, but it was a ladder match. Wasabi Kid won on a winning streak himself there. Wasabi is insane, absolutely insane. Day. Here he comes, making his first debut matchup last week. And a win against uh, Jombi. He was in a first blood match in that, Extreme Rules. That lasted quite a while from what I thought it would. I thought they would bust each other open fairly quickly. One the other, of course. However, it took them a while. 
match lasted a good 10 or 15 minutes. Just pummeling. They went outside. On the post. It was insane. Steve did have his face armor, but you know, that could work against him, you know, if uh, if it's used to break him open. It could be it could be used as a weapon on him, so you never know. Here there's a petition in the back to uh, have Steve remove his his mask, his goggles, his trademark goggles. Big Ross going after the table to begin with. Now with the offense on Scuba Steve as Janitor Dan sets up the table. Moving it out of the way, he doesn't like things to clutter around the ring. Oh, Big Ross throwing Dan into the table. Is he gonna get it? Big chop. That table's sturdy though. It's still sturdy. Big chop. Janitor Dan goes down. Scuba Steve is up though. Whipping Big Ross into that table. And a big chop on Ross. See how he likes it. Dan with the drop. Oh! Dropped right in. Scuba Steve and Dan going back and forth with each other. Steve pushes Dan in the mat. Big Ross struggling to get up now. Ooh, Steve going after Ross now. Oh. I need a gut. Dan goes to the corner for a breather. Oh, neckbreaker. Ross goes out. But Dan is there to capitalize, taking Scuba Steve to the mat. A knee to the back. Picks him up. Steve with the arm toss. Oh, elbow to the gut. Dan whips Steve into the table. And a chop. Back and forth between these two. Now Ross is up on the outside. What's he doing? Grabbing a second table. Slides it in the ring. Spinning neckbreaker. Steve is down. Ross setting up the table in the other corner. Two tables up now. We don't even have turnbuckles anymore. Just tables. What's up with that? Ross slinging Steve into the table. Big chop. Dan going up and playing, playing with the crowd. Oh! Grabbed by Ross! And a big German suplex! Doesn't stun Dan as he whips Ross into the table. And that Chop Fest continues. Chop Fest 2019 here on Strange Wrestling. Ooh! <laughs> Dan performs a Kamehameha. <laughs> it, it, it fails miserably. Gets waylaid by Steve. Ross coming in with the back clothesline. Ooh, working that arm of Steve. A kick to the knee. Another kick. A DDT sends Ross down to the mat. Scuba Steve showing that energy that he showed last week on his, on his matchup then. But Dan also proving he's got the... Uh, Come back. Both men now double teaming Ross in the corner. Wow. Wailing on him. Oh, back and forth between Ross and Dan. Uh oh. Ross going for the power bump. And Dan hits the mat hard. Ooh, he's going to fill that in the morning. Whipping Steve into the chip table. Ross with another slap. Dan's back to his feet now. Crowd going wild. Ooh. Ross kicks Dan. Hits him in the face. Oh, tries to spear Dan through the table. It cracks, but it does not break. Scoop Steve. Taking Ross to the ground. Showing a flurry on Dan now. He picks him up. What's he going to do? Drags him with the rope. No. Dan able to wiggle free. Using those elbows. Whips Steve into the corner. Oh, and a drop kick. The table does not break. 
These three are trying at it. They're trying their damnedest. Ross is trying to set up a table for dinner. Yes. Dan with the punches to the face. Tossing Ross into the table. And a big slap. Steve hanging on holding on tight to the rope. Grabs Dan, tosses him into the table. Chop! They are working this one table. They have shown the table on the right no love whatsoever. Not a not a single bit. Not any at all. Steve dominating the match, ruling the ring. Calling Ross to his feet. Dan is there to intercept. Slaps Steve on the table. Takes him to the ground. Ross working his way to his feet. His luscious blonde fro. Oh! But it doesn't stay up very long as Dan plants him face first into the mat. Oh, Steve with the kick to... He throws Dan on the table. It doesn't break. It was so close. Now, Dan throws Steve on the table. That is one sturdy-ass table. That's how you know we don't cheap out here in Strange Wrestling. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, my Lanta. Scoop of Steve immediately eliminated. Out of nowhere, Dan plants him face first into the table. That, my friends, was insane. I can't believe that. Like, what the hell? That is absolutely bonkers. Oh, Big Ross taking the upper hand. Oh, they're working this table down with those slaps, too. Crowd booing at Ross. Ross with with the absolute domination in this match. What? He's picking Dan up. Dan goes through the table. Big Ross won his first match here in Strange Wrestling. Eliminating not one, but both of his competitors. Both competitors who had one win each and no losses. Big Ross bringing it hard this week. Dan just gave up after Steve. Oh, my Lanta. Hey, Frosty, what's up? The first match is over, and and our winner is Big Ross. I was, I was wondering if I would ever hear that, actually. Crowd booing, wanting Dan to win. Jimmy's won. Wow. It's not often Big Ross gets to celebrate. Let's get a snapshot of that. Let's get a snapshot of that beauty right there. I, I, that was a big turn. Like he was getting his ass whooped at the beginning of the match. I never thought he would turn it around, but he did. He did. Indeed he did. Like a, like a sleeper agent. He just, he just awoke midway through that match. Holy crap. Well, folks, you know what that brings us to? And that's our second matchup of the night. Friday Night Fight. It's going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. Balls count anywhere. Two out of three falls wins. We're going to see Samich going up against Princess Nugget. The fight of the foods. Who will win? This is a non-title matchup, but Sandwich will be facing the champ. We'll see what these two bring to the table. So go ahead and get your bets in who you think is going to win. Is it going to be Sandwich? Is it going to be Princess Nugget? Go ahead and get those votes in now. I'm gonna 
Oh god. So if we're looking at at their at their stats here, then we've got Sam with three losses. We have Princess Nugget with two wins and one loss. Odds are in favor of Princess Nugget, but I like to bet on the underdog, so let's go. Dan was mostly leaving Ross alone. I think that was planned. <laughs> the match was planned. You think so? It could be, you never know. Da, da, da. Betting will cease at the ring of the bell. Let's see what these competitors can bring to the table tonight on Friday Night Fights. Brought to you by TGI Nug Days. When you want your nuggets and you want them fresh with 50 different delicious flavors, TGI Nug Days is where you want to go. Now she was one of two left last week on the woman, the five-way women's title matchup. Now that was an epic match. They fought all the way into the uh, ramp way and did not stop. It was an elimination match. And of course, the winner came out to be Princess Nugget, her opponent. So she's looking to exact a little bit of revenge on her. It came down between uh, no, that was actually Natsugi and uh, Princess Nugget. Yeah, and Sam. Those three. It came down to those three. Then it came down to Sam and Princess Nugget. And now they get to uh, relive a little bit of their match of last week. It's a new day. Yes, it's Coming out now is the champion. The two-time women's champion here in Strange Wrestling. Florida. Wearing that title proud. Blunting her stuff because she knows she can. She shows huge athleticism. Beating out on five women to reclaim that title only a week after losing it to the devil. She definitely shows tenacity and spirit. Now, like I said earlier, we've seen her with only one loss, so the odds are in favor of her. Sam looking to... Make a first win. It's not improbable and it's not impossible as we saw in our very first matchup tonight as Big Wasp, Big Wasp, <laughs> Big Wasp, as Big Ross walked away the victor. There she is, folks. I hope you have your bets in because betting will cease right now. This is not for the women's title, of course. But a show of who is the true victor here. Oh, and a tornado DDT off the bat from Sam. But a kick to the face stops that. A clothesline sends Sam to, Sam to the mat. But she retaliates. Side drop kick. Ooh, spins up the arm of Princess Nugget, locks her up. Oh, sling, slinging that arm behind her. We are not supposed to bend that way. Oh, strings Princess Nugget up. Wow, trying to make the champ tap. Not gonna happen right now. Oh, Sam is dominating the ring here. Going for a quick pin. Referee aging on it. No, not even a one count. The champ kicks out. Smashes Princess Nugget in the back. Oh, Princess Nugget with the elbow. Oh! A flying clothesline sends, sends Sam to the mat. Well, say that 50 times fast. Princess Nugget walking outside now. She's going over the railing. She's out in the crowd. Sam following her. Both women in the crowd now. 
They're taking it right out into the crowd. This is, of course, a an extreme Falls Count Anywhere matchup. Princess Nugget guiding Sam down, down the audience, down the pathway. Sam fighting back though. An uppercut. Oh, and backhand from Nugget. Back and forth between these two. Taking it into the crowd. These women will fight anywhere. A grudge between these two, absolutely. Oh, a back and forth still. Oh, elbow to the back of Sam, but she hits it with a gut, a knee to the gut. Waylaying on each other. Me too, Ronnie. It looks like there's more area, more room here. Taking Princess Nugget over to the barrier. She's able to get out though. If not, I can always take control of one of the characters in this year. Last year, we were not able to do that. Princess Nugget with those... Oh! A huge knee to the gut! Sam smashes into the ground. Back and forth these two go. The crowd going wild. Booing Princess Nugget. As they fight further down. Another uppercut. Sam is dazed. Punch to the back and knee. They're making it up to the entranceway now. Fighting out of the crowd. They've made it back into the entranceway. Oh, and a jawbreaker sends Sam down on that still. Oh, double knee on the gut. And a, another double knee. A backflip into the double knee. She goes for a pin on the entranceway. Two. A two count and a kick out. Princess Nugget can't believe it. She thought it was over. Uh-oh. Here she goes. She's waiting for Sam to get up. Is it going to be? The princess pounce. Goes for the pin. This could be it. Two. And a kick out by Sam at two and a half. That was almost it. Do you know what they say? Almost only counts on horseshoes, hand grenades, nuclear bombs. A spinning backhand. Sam retaliating a little bit, but... Princess... Oh! A kick to the gut! Nugget grabbing Sam by the hair and slapping her straight in the face. And a couple of nice forearms into the face. Gnarly. Oh, working that arm now. Oh! Spinning and twisting the arm as she falls to the ground. Forcing that impact, that weight to fall on her, on Sam's elbow. Princess Nugget. Oh, curb stomping Sam's face into the, into the rampway. Tosses her down now. Takes a little bit of a breather. Crowd is going wild. They are out here on our entranceway, taunting the crowd. Princess Nugget, absolutely owning the match here. That is one giant ladder. And you know what's ru funny, Ronnie? You can't use it. I wonder if you can use those tables, though, or if they're just prop tables. Uh-oh, Princess Nugget with a spinning power bomb. Going for the pin, but the, the referee AJ can't get over there. He's stuck. That could have been it. Princess Nugget would have won the match. But the referee could he well, looks like we need a new referee. Oh, that patented backflip with those knees, those dreaded knees. Princess Nugget looking for it again. There it is. Oh, Princess Pounce. Going for the pin now. The referee still can't make it over there. He doesn't know what to do. Did he quit midway? Let's get a second referee out here, please. I wish you could take control of the referee. That'd be pretty fucking sweet. Oh, and a kick to the gut. Princess Nugget trying to take back over. Sam with a spinning back hand. 
Get your goddamn head in the game, ref. Sam moving out of the way. Wailing on Princess Nugget, but she she's able to counter it. So is Sam with a kick to the gut. Another kick to the gut. Those forearms. Oh, you can toss them into it. You can't climb it, but you can toss them into it. Using that ladder to her advantage. She is just tearing Princess Nugget up. Kicking in the knee. This has gone all over the arena. These two are going insane. Ooh. Forearms back and forth. Eye gouging. Slams Princess Nugget up against that barricade. Oh, how is she still alive? Goes up against the barricade again. They are fighting out of the arena. Oh, my Lanta. What a match. I was not expecting something so amazing. These two. Princess Nugget doesn't know where she is. She is just... Oh, able to finally get a little bit of a vengeance. Sam grabs her, though. Throws her up against the wall again. Kicks her in the back. Oh, my Lanta. Where are these women taking this match up? They are in the void. Oh, my Lanta. They're going backstage. This has never happened. This is fucking awesome. Brought to you by TGI Dunk Days. <laughs> Voiding through the door. In the, the when both women taking it backstage, Sam going for the pin on Princess Nugget. Two! And a kick out somehow, some way by Princess Nugget. They are in the hallway. These two have fought everywhere tonight. <laughs> oh my Lanta. This is the best match I've ever seen in Strange Wrestling. Sam picking Princess Nugget up. And Sam goes ham! Going for the pin, this could be it on that concrete! Two! Three! Sam wins the match! No, I'm sorry! Sam doesn't win the match, this is the best two out of three, isn't it? This is two out of three! <laughs> the match continues, Sam is one up! In this Falls Count Anywhere Extreme 2 out of 3 match. Not able to get that submission to work on Princess Nugget. With a big backhand from both superstars. Someone is about to lose their sponsorship. Dragging Princess Nugget further through the backstage area. But she's able to break free. Sam! Nice elbow to the face of Princess Nugget. Oh, and a dropkick sends her down. Both women are filling this. This matchup has gone on for so long. Through the crowd, through the rampway, the entrance, and all the way backstage. Ending up in this hallway where they further damage each other, tossing Princess Nugget down the hallway near the wall. She is hurt. She is not moving. Sam going for the pin now. One, two, and another kick out by Princess Nugget. How? How is she doing this? Oh, oh. Sam gets a jawbreaker. Princess Nugget is back, tossing Sam into the wall face first. She hits like a pile of bricks into a pile of cement. And the knees to the gut. Going for the pin on Sam. Could this be it? One, two, and a kick out by Sam. These two are bringing their, their all on this second matchup here in Strange Wrestling. She could be looking for the Princess Pounce again. And that's it. The Princess Pounce going for the pin. One, two, no. Sam kicks out again. Sam kicks out again. Takes the feet out from Princess Nugget. I can't believe these two are still going at it as hard as they are. Now they're further down the hallway on the other side. Reverse neck breaker. Sends Sam to the cement. 
Ooh, and an elbow to the eye again from Sam. Grabbing Princess Nugget, twisting the arm up, locking it behind her. Princess Nugget with the elbow. Nugget picks up Sam. And a sideway backbreaker. Oh, she's holding it there in a some sort form of submission. Princess Nugget can barely even stand. Looks like she's filling it. I hope she's not injured. I hope neither of these competitors are injured. AJ, get the hell out of the way. Sam with the elbow. Our referee looking onward. Oh, and a backhand staggers Princess. Throwing Sam into the wall again. She falls over on the ground. Referee AJ there. We've gotten one. Sam has one fall. Princess Nugget is at zero. The champ pushing both the gut and face of Sam into the ground. Going for the pin now. One, two, and a kick out by Sam. Very resilient. Very resilient. Kicking the back of Sam's neck now. And has the neck wrench. Looking to wear and tear the head down. Ooh, slamming her back of the head on the ground. How are these competitors still going at it? Oh! Slams the back of Princess Nugget into the garage door. Sam going crazy now. Picking Princess Nugget up. This could be it. Sam goes ham. Going for the pin. AJ is there. One, two, three. Two pins. How many pins is it? Did, no, she kicked out. Princess Nugget kicked out at two and a half, 2.9. She did not get pinned. Oh, my Lanta. Going for a hark on Rana. Since Sam did that. Ooh, double knee. That devastating combo by Princess Nugget. We've seen it several times in this match alone. Very, very used, often used piece of her. Ooh, throwing Sam into the... Near the garage now. Near the parking lot. Princess Nugget awaits Sam to get up. And... That is the third or the fourth Princess Pounce of this match. Going for the pin again. One, two, a kick out by Sam. Neither of these women knows the words give up. Neither of them want to stop. Willing to take the punishment and anything to be the victor in this match. Showing the blood, the sweat, the tears. I can't believe this. I can't believe this, everyone. This is insane. They are going at it. Throw Sam back into the garage door. Princess Nugget holding her stomach. You know she fills it. Sam with a knee to the face. That was short-lived. Princess Nugget. And yet it was short-lived for Sam. Nugget with the uppercut. Now with, oh, using that backbreaker. Again, that elongated backbreaker. You know Sam's gonna feel that. And, and that knee, that knee to the back as she holds her. Will Sam tap out of this? Referee AJ looking on. No, Sam's able to get out. Oh, another elbow to Princess Nugget. These two have been out of the ring for at least 25 minutes. Going at it. Back and forth, a neck wrench now. Our second matchup here. And they are playing main event cards. These two. Must be some sort of rivalry building up between them. And they are damn sure taking it out right now. Princess Nugget. Tosses Sam near the ladder and the table. Closer to the parking lot there as the camera splits off. Showing both super, superstars. A kick to the back of Sam. Oh, the ladder shook a little bit. The first match should have been this good. Yeah! 
Sam throwing Princess Nugget back down near the fire extinguisher. I'm just afraid these two are going to get towards that table into that parking lot and cause some real damage. Sam going for a quick pin. AJ, one, two, and a kick out at two. Sam's going to have to hit something very hard if she wants to keep Princess Nugget down for a three count. And the same goes, rings true for Nugget. Ooh, and an arm toss. Sam is dazed. She's confused. Princess Nugget picks her up. Working that arm. That Oh, spins it. We saw that early in the ring, but now this falling down onto that concrete. Princess Nugget just staring over her opponent. Does she have anything left in her? Do either women of these women have anything left? And that answer would be yes. Tossing Princess Nugget. Oh, grabbing the fire extinguisher. What is Sam doing? Using that, butting that fire extinguisher to the face of Princess Nugget and using it. She's using the fire extinguisher of Princess Nugget. I can't believe this. She's using it again. Oh, that's going deep into the lungs and crystallizing in Princess Nugget's lungs. Using that fire extinguisher three times on Princess Nugget. But somehow she's able to elbow out of it. Sam. Not long before she uses that backhanded, that hand, backhanded punch. Oh, my Lanta, the fire extinguisher. Princess Nugget. Tying Sam up, looking for a neck breaker. It connects. The crowd booing now. Oh, that patented double knee. Princess Nugget going for a pin now. One, two, three. There is her first pin. Both women are at one pin apiece now. One pin apiece, one pin apiece, one pin apiece. AJ better look out of the way. Princess Nugget goes flying into him. Sam going for a pin now. This will be our second. One, two, and a kick out at two. Not going to get the princess that easily. The brutal, brutal. Oh, that arm toss sends Sam back first to the ground. Princess Nugget going for a pin. One, two. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Sam was able to kick out. I thought that was it. I thought it was over. Oh, but this could be it. As Princess waits to pounce. There it is. And she pounces. Going for the pin. One. Two. And somehow Sam kicked out. I don't know how she's got any left in her. Princess Nugget. That choke slam. No, it's reversed by Sam. Sends her face first into the mat, or into the concrete, into DDT! Sam going for the pin after that huge DDT. One, two, no, and a kick out at two and a half. Sam can't believe it. You grabbing and wrenching the neck of Princess Nugget. These two, these two have been going at it. Like fire and ice. Uh-oh. Sam's going ham. Sam's going ham. And she just served Princess Nugget up. Some of that, that canned up sand ham. One, two, three. And that's it. Sandwich walks away the winner after this long, brutal, and amazing matchup. These two women fought long and fought hard. And both each had a pin under them. But in the end, Sandwich walks away with her first victory against the champ, Princess Nugget. Wow. Both of them deserve a trophy or something out of that because that was absolutely insane. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. I'm about to replace the princess. Let, let's turn to social media and see what everybody has to say about this match. Frosty Nuggets is here to say, I'm about to replace princess like they replaced the mom on the Fresh Prince. Wow, harsh words. Ronnie Falk is coming in and saying, can't even complain about this. 
Coming in with that clip. Thank you, Ronnie. Hope you can. Uh, can you post that? And actually, not in um, not in stream clips. Can you post that in event photos? I'm gonna cha ex actually change that. That's uh, gonna be called event media. Boom. Yeah, in Discord. Yeah, thank you, dude. That was the best match I've ever, ever seen in Strange Wrestling. And we've been doing this a long time. That went bonkers. These women fought hard. That should have been a women's title match, to be quite frank. Well, folks, let's go ahead and pay out our bets. Sandwich, the winner of the matchup. We'll go ahead and get going to our third matchup of the night. We have... A fantastic one for you. Four-way battle royale match. Featuring Aiden Burst, Bobby Fox, Mr. Slappy Beef, and Mind. That'll be coming up here soon. Next, Strange Wrestling. Friday Night Fights. We'll go ahead and get those bets up. Who do you think is gonna win? Is it gonna be Aiden Burst? It's gonna be Bobby Fox. Is it gonna be Mr. Slappy Beef? Where's it gonna be? Mind. Go ahead and get those bets in. You know who I am betting on. Mind. Thousand is your max bets. These are your people. Coming in left to right, we have Mr. Slappy Beef, Aiden Bursk, Bobby Fox, and Mind. Getting all clowny on this, everyone. That is some damn good agua. All right, everybody, we are ready. We are willing. Let's start our third match of the night, this four-way battle royale. Between four of our best superstars in Strange Wrestling. Honk, honk. I love entrances. Making his way down first. Making his way to the ring. Thank you, announcer. Weighing in at 239 pounds, Aiden. Aiden we remember him last year as having an unstoppable streak. Able to conquer almost anything at the end, uh, winning that Universal Championship. But now as he comes into uh, Strange Wrestling this year, he just isn't the same man that he once was. With uh, three losses, he's looking to finally make a win for himself here in Strange Wrestling this year. Friday Night Fights. Loin clock, cloth physics, indeed. Get those votes in. Voting will cease. I think ring the bell. And the second man making his way down to the ring. Bobby Fox. Also a very talented. From Baltimore, Maryland. Weighing in at 348 pounds. Bobby Fox. A very decorated, uh, another decorated wrestler here in sports entertainment on Strange Wrestling. Bobby Fox. Uh, able to uh, grasp the tag titles, I believe, twice last year. Not able since his inception this year to be able to conquer anything, but that's okay. Two losses, no wins. Looking to make his way to the top to win here. You'd think for the man that's how he'd go over the top rope, but indeed, the middle rope it is. Pointing to the stars, because that's what he believes he is. A star. Look at that star hair right there. And your third competitor for the night. Mr. Slappy Beef makes his way. And from Port of Prince, Haiti, weighing in at 454 pounds, Clown. Now I'll tell you this right here. All three of these people, Mr. Sloppy Beef here, uh, losses three, wins zero. All three of these contestants right here, none of them have a win. 
None of them have a win. So they could potentially walk out with their very first win here. Uh, our fourth a contestant coming out here, though, does have a win under his belt. It was for the Tag Team Champions with Dinde last week. So it was a tag win. But can he pull off a win himself? And that is mine. He'll be making his way down. Betting is still open. And some of the best music in Strange Wrestling about to start. There it is. And from Edmond, Oklahoma, weighing in at one half. 240 pounds, one half of the action champions, M-Y-N-D. Mind, of course, taking one half of the Tag Team Championship belts with Dinde Smalls in their team they're stable the backseaters in a three team matchup last week they faced off against the heavy hitters and the saucy posse and we'll actually see those two coming up later on in the event tonight now go ahead and get your bets in because the bell is ringing and betting has ceased now, as these four go at it, Bobby Fox and Mind start off. And the two bigger men here going in a contest with each other. Slappy Beef and Bobby Fox. Slappy Beef pushing Fox down. Aiden now back up, though. Mind moves out of the way. Oh, and a huge power bomb on Aiden from the Slappy Beef. Takes Bobby off the corner. He is going, hey, hey, what? I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. He is going ham. But Bobby able to counter. Suplexes Slappy Beef down. Aiden and Mind. Mind with a arm toss. Grabs Aiden now, picks him up. And Aiden reverses, gets out of the suplex. Slappy Beef gets away from Bobby. And uh, Aiden able to suplex Mind, take him down. Mind going to the apron. Have a little bit of a breather. Now, this will be an elimination over the top rope. Once you get thrown over, that's it. So this will essentially become a triple threat. And then a one-on-one. -on -one, and we'll have a winner. Mine slingshots. Slappy Beef into the corner. Turnbuckle there. He's trying to pick him up and eliminate him now. Slappy Beef not about to have it. Bobby taunting the crowd. Slapped in the face by Mind. But he's able to kick Mind in the shin. Oh, and a huge close on to the back of Mind's head. Aiden taking Slappy Beef down. Goes after him for a, for a kick to the gut. Ooh, back and forth with these, these two. Mind wiggling free of Bobby. Reverse DDT. Aiden's hung up on the top rope. Bobby getting a breather outside. Slappy Beef picks up Mind. Takes him to the top rope. Tries to eliminate Mind. Gets out of the way. Takes the knee out of Mr. Slappy Beef. Ooh. Bobby and Aiden battle the oranges. Bobby puts Aiden in the corner. Aiden reverses. Slappy Beef and Mind still going at it back and forth with each other. Aiden trying to eliminate Bobby now, but Fox isn't having it. Mind moves out of the way. A couple of jabs to Slappy Beef. They're still going back and forth. Bobby with Aiden now. Puts him over the top rope. Uses it to slingshot Aiden down to the mat. Ooh, Slappy Beef with a huge falling punch on Mind. Bobby and Aiden. Slappy Beef and Mind back and forth. Bobby grabs Aiden, puts him up on the uh, rope again. Starts with a punch to the face. Slappy Beef and Fox now going at it. Ooh, an arm breaker on Slappy Beef. Aiden's back up. Ooh! Ooh, spinning body slam. Bobby hits the mat. Sloppy Beef picks Aiden up. 
Trying to toss him over to the top rope now. Can he do it? Mind's up. He's gonna help. He's gonna help try to eliminate Aiden now. Slappy Beef gives up and walks off. And Mind gets a big close on a uh, big elbow to the head. Bobby picking up and tossing Aiden down like he's a paper sack. Nothing. Grabs Mind now, puts Mind up against the ropes. Trying to eliminate Mind. He's got him up. Aiden with a flurry of kicks. Mind is over the top rope, but he's grabbed on. He's still in the bottom, hanging on. Bobby trying, oh, big Huracan running since Slappy Beef down. Mind able to hang on with every last bit of energy he had. Bobby picks up Mind. Ooh, and a kick to the, to the head. Mind with an Insiguri. Aiden picks Bobby up. Tosses him in the ropes and over! He grabs on somehow. Oh! Bobby's been eliminated. Bobby's the first elimination of the match. We are down to three. Eight. Mr. Slappy Beef and Mind. All three of these people going at it. Mind with a uh, backhand. Backhanded punch. Ooh. Knee to the back of Slappy Beef. He's down, but Aiden taking the advantage. Ooh, big German suplex hits. Hits Mind to the mat hard. He rolls out on the apron for a breather. Aiden with a big Huracan Rana. Slappy Beef is down. Oh, Aiden with a knee to the forehead of Slappy Beef. And I, I believe there is blood, my friend. There is blood on Mr. Slappy Beef's head. Can you believe this? Into the corner. Aiden trying to take Slappy Beef out. Mind is playing possum over there. Trying to pick him up by one leg. Slappy Beef able to get out. Mind finally making it to his feet. Ooh, a side body slam. Aiden's down, but Mind is back to his feet. Grabs Slappy Beef. Takes him to the rope. Hangs him over the top. Grabs him. What's he going to try to do? He's going to power bomb him. Mind is... Power bombing, Mr. Slappy Beef out for the elimination. Oh my Lanta. But Aiden is back up, tossing Mind over, using his neck. That's gotta be painful. It's a one-on-one -on -one matchup with this Battle Royale now in our third matchup of Friday Night Fights. Mind spinning around, Tornado DDT. Kick to the back of the neck of Aiden. He has him in a neck wrench now. You can see the uh, the face paint of mind wearing away as the match carries on. This is honestly one of my favorite things about the games. That detail. Puts Aiden over the top rope now. He's going back. Tries to Mario! kick, but Aiden is able to... Oh, my Lanta. Aiden taking mind over the top rope. He's trying to push him over. He's trying to push him over. Can he get him? Can he toss him over? Mind hanging on. Thank you for the raid. I'll, I'll give you a uh, proper shout out in a second. Mind able to get out. Smashed in the back of Aiden. Aiden with the leg sweep. Ooh, and a kick to the thigh. Oh, a kick to the head. Spins out of the way. Mind with a drop kick to Aiden. Both men are hurt. They neither of these men want to lose. Aiden looking for his first victory. Mind looking for his first first solo victory. And a clothesline! That's it! Aiden goes out of the ring, and Mind is our winner! Winning his very first singles victory is Mind. Yo, Rod, thank you so much for that raid. Oh, damn it. D did I type it wrong? I did, didn't I? One. There we go. <laughs>
Look at Proud, mind. His face is a little dreary, but he walked away with the win. Congratulations, mine. Thank you so much for the raid there, Rod. Love you, brother. Hope you've been having an awesome time. Hope you're having a good weekend. Hope you had fun with your Fortnite. I'm out of tea. These three matches have taken it out of me. That second matchup was still the best matchup I've ever had. And speaking of Divas matchup, we're about to have another one. As this triple threat match begins. I want you guys to go ahead and put in your votes. Who do you think is going to win here? Is it going to be the devil? Is it going to be Natsugi? Or is it going to be Palm the Crusher? Now listen everybody, you can get your bets in now. This is going to be a spot for the number one contendership for the Women's Championship. Now, granted, we might have just went ahead and gave that to Sam had she, uh, you know, <laughs> not, but alas, we're doing it with this. So here's what we'll do next week. The winner of this match will face off against uh, Sam to see who will become the number one contender. But these three are going to fight for that chance tonight. Go ahead and get your votes in. This is a regular triple threat match. No bells, no whistles, nothing crazy. See how these three compete with each other as they are in a regular match. No chairs, no ladders, no tables. Fists and feet of fury. I'm gonna put my bet in on uh making her way to the ring from the other side of darkness. Give this one to the devil. The devil. Now the devil actually obtaining the women's championship two weeks ago, only to lose it last week, facing off in that elimination five women matchup. She was actually eliminated uh third, I believe. No, second. She's eliminated second. Uh, looking to reclaim here. Of course, when we're looking at her stats here, we see that the Devil has uh, one win, of course, that one's championship, but two losses behind her. So, you know, she's not, uh, not too far into the positives there. And your second contestant coming down. She's a newcomer here in Strange Wrestling. And her opponents. First, from Seattle, Washington, the Punisher. Natsugi Kuga making her way down. A very, very scary individual. And very athletic. She knows where to hit to make it hurt. Uh, of course, Natsugi was in that uh, her very first matchup last week. And that was that five woman brawl elimination. Mandy. She's looking to come in with a win now. Mandy with a narrow, narrow loss last week. She laid the ass kicking down. It was uh, quite a match. She was also in that five way brawl. And the flippity flippity things make their way up. The best part, the happiest part of strange wrestling here, folks. As she makes her way down. Uh, Mandy has had a, uh, a bad streak. She is 0-3. Uh, th and so she's coming in, looking to finally prove herself, herself worthy. All three women in now. Betting will cease. Right now. A 
All three women ready. They are set. And there's the bell. Devil looking at Palm. Doesn't see Natsugi behind her. Huracan Rana sends the devil straight to the ground. Andy taking the advantage in the ring at the beginning. Trying to get both women. Oh, the devil with the reversal there. Oh, Natsuki taking the devil down to the mat. <laughs> Dancing outside the ring, Natsuki. <laughs> Playing with the crowd there. Oh, my Lanta. That was a huge cluster. Mandy up, giving those rights to the devil. What's in the corner? What's she gonna do? Oh, grabbing and wrenching that arm over the top turnbuckle. Mandy using her body as a device of, of pain there to exact. Oh, that's yeah, so we can go for them. To exact vengeance on the devil from last week. We saw those two go at it quite hard in their matchup. That's Sugi with that. Oh! Palm! Using that top rope to his advantage to slam that Sugi down with that reversal. But the devil now. Ping ponging palm. Ping ponging palm off the ropes. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. Putting her into the turnbuckle. Big clothesline. Natsugi is back in now. Ooh, both women going after Mandy now. The devil whips Mandy outside the ring. Natsugi holding onto the top rope, gathering her breath. Natsugi and the devil inside now. Ooh. Those big kicks to the devil. Oh, but she uses jawbreaker. Those horns on her head. I don't know. You know? A little bit of foul play there. Mandy. Natsugi both trying to take the devil out from the top rope. Mandy is the winner. Hurricane Rana. The devil hits the ground. Oh, my Lanta. What a show of athleticism between these two women. As they try to uh, both be the one that took the devil down. Oh, Mandy is on top of things here. Natsugi rolls out to gather herself. All three women inside the ring now. Oh, big clothesline. Mandy goes down. The devil and Natsugi. Jawbreaker, sitting jawbreaker. The devil goes down. Giving her a little payback for the jawbreaker earlier. Going for the pin now. Gets a one count on the devil. Natsugi back up. Ooh, legs swept out. Devil's back up. Devil and Palm going at it. Devil with a big right since Palm in that. Goes for a quick pin. The free AJ going around for the count. One and a kick out at one. There are no special rules. This is a regular three-way triple threat match. So the first pinfall, you will see the winner. And it could be, we could be seeing it with Natsugi here with the pin. One and a kick out. Natsugi kicking the back of the devil. Wrenching that neck. Mandy back in. Letting the other two wear themselves down a little bit. Oh, hits, hits the back of the devil. Oh! Devil fighting back. Mandy, one-legged suplex. She goes for the pin. One! Two and a kick at it, two and a half. Mandy thought she had it there. So did I. 
That Sugi has been in one spot for a while now. She looks hurt. She looks hurt. Mandy going for the pin now. One, two, and a kick out at two. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think Natsuki can get up. Natsuki, Natsuki get up. Oh, and a knee to the gut. Huge clothesline, the devil hits the ground hard. Going for the pin, Mandy, one, two. No, almost a three count. And we need to, we may have a concussion here with Natsuki. Mandy with a comeback. Big drop kick on the devil. Going after Natsuki now. Lifting her up. Oh, and an arm drop. Grabs the arm. She's got her in a submission hold. Will Natsuki give up? She's been hurt. No, she's able to break free. Picks up Natsugi, tosses her arm down. Natsugi with a leg trip. Whip into the corner. The devil back on the apron now. All three women back into the ring. Natsugi going up. Oh, and a moonsault off the top rope. Right onto Mandy. Oh, and a big drop kick. The devil hits the ground. Natsugi going for the pin now. One, two, and a kick out at two. Oh, poor Natsugi looking for her first win here in Strange Wrestling. Her second matchup. Oh, and that butt bomb. Going for another pin on the devil. Mandy's up though. Able to break up the pin for one count. Natsugi going after Mandy now. Mandy rolls out of the way. Right to the face, right to the face. Natsugi moves. Shoulder block. Front flip shoulder block. Mandy rolls out of the way. Natsugi going for the pin on the devil. One, two. Devil kicks out at two. Wow. Oh, my Lanta. Mandy recuperating outside. Devil throws Natsugi outside. All three win outside. Devil going towards that announcer table. <clears throat> oh, Natsugi throws the devil's face into the steps. Doesn't keep the devil down for long. And a couple of, a, a, kind of a flurry of right hands, Natsugi. She misses the drop kick and falls onto that wood outside. The devil and Mandy back inside. Both try to kick and miss. At a stalemate, Mandy holding the devil over that top rope, wrenching the back. Drags her to the middle of the ring, goes for the pin. Natsugi rolling in, one, and uh, broken up by Natsugi after a one count. Oh, clothesline on Mandy. Another clothesline. Oh, and a kick to the face. Natsugi takes Mandy down, the devil down. Throwing palm over the, onto the apron. Natsugi throws her back in. Body drop. Right on her back. Ooh. Mandy throws the legs out from under Natsugi. Devil tries to claim her back to her feet, but Mandy is right there. Knocks her straight down with a forearm. Going for the pin. One, two. Can Natsugi get up? No! No, the devil kicked out. And the ref is knocked out by Mandy. Mandy accidentally knocked the ref out going after Natsugi. He is down flat. Anything goes. The ref is out. The devil's out. Mandy gets knocked over and out. The devil getting pummeled by Natsugi now. Using those elbows on the forehead of the devil. Oh, the referee is down for the count. He's hurt. That's a harsh kick to the head. Ooh, big clothesline. Devil sends Natsugi out. Mandy on the outside. Natsugi on the outside. The devil rolls out of the ring. Arm toss. Natsugi takes her down. Ooh. 
Yeah, Suki with those kicks. Sitting jawbreaker. Mandy misses the clothesline narrowly. Game physics. <laughs> Them details. Now Sugi taking both women down. The referee back to his feet now. Pushing that arm, but Mandy with a huge right. The face of Natsugi. Natsugi with those kicks. Mandy throws Natsugi back in. The devil is still down on the outside. Pins Natsugi. Mandy, one. And a kick out at one. The devil now back to her feet on the apron. <clears throat> Picks Natsugi up. Natsugi wiggles free. Reverse DDT. And all of a sudden, the devil goes after a pin on Natsugi. One, two. Oh, man. And a kick out at one and a half. That would have been bonkers. Absolute bonkers. The devil. Big sidebox slam. Amandy gets her. Gets her in a an inverted figure four, it looks like. Oh. Big punch by Mandy. Both back to the feet now. Natsugi on the outside. Picks Mandy in the face. Can't pick her up. <clears throat> Mandy grabs one leg. Tosses her over. The devil is down and out. She hit her with that, that, crushing, that crushing smash. Natsugi back in the ring now. Throws Mandy over to the apron. Picking the devil up. Natsugi tosses her into the apron. Into the turnbuckle. Ooh. The devil reverses. Mandy on the top rope there. She is hurt. Go, Devil going for the pin on Natsugi. Two. Almost wins. Natsugi barely able, but still able to kick out. The Devil looks like she's ready for a little fire and brimstone. Can she do it? Grabs Natsugi. There. No. Natsugi. Reversal. And a big clothesline. The Devil is down. Mandy back to her feet, though. Huge side drop kick on Natsugi. Devil and Natsugi both outside the ring now. Mandy rolls out. Ooh, Natsugi able to kick and punch her. Uh-oh! Can she get Natsugi? No! Mandy! With a reversal! She can't pin outside the ring, though. Tries to pick Natsugi up. A big drop kick. Devil, palm, face to face. Back and forth between these two. <laughs> Devil rolls out of the way. Punch to the back. Throws Palm back into the ring. Natsugi and the Devil in the ring now. Mandy makes her way back in. Big butt bomb. The Devil is down. Mandy. That one-handed suplex takes Natsugi out, goes for the pin on the devil. Two, three, and that's it. Mandy wins her first match here in Strange Wrestling. It's Mandy time. Congratulations, Mandy. Coming out the winner on that match. What a hard-fought triple threat match that was, indeed. One for the books, folks, and the videos. Mandy won her first match in Strange Wrestling here tonight. Look at those replays. What a long and fought, hard-fought match. These three competitors went at it hard. Here is your winner, the Crusher.
There she is, folks, your winner. Go in, turnbuckle to turnbuckle. What a matchup that was. All right, folks. We'll be coming back at you with a fourth out of seven matches here tonight on Strange Wrestling. We'll take one little break as I go use the restroom and get a little bit more water. Remember, if you want to eat hearty and you need something good, you need some nuggets, you need to go to TGI Nug Days where you can get their famous 50 sauces. Type exclamation point sauce in the chat to see one of their 50 different amazing flavors. I'll be right back. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, and we are back as the show continues here with Strange Wrestling, our fourth match. Actually, I'm sorry. This is the fifth match. Our fifth match of the evening. This will be a title match for the prestigious championship. Shockwave winning his number one contendership last week in that cage match, that triple threat cage match. His very first victory here in Strange Wrestling as well as um, that number one contendership. <clears throat> so he will be facing off against the champion this week. To see if he actually gain possession of that championship. I'll give you a look at who you'll be voting for. Shockwave, Wasabi Kid. Go ahead and put your votes in. Now. I'm gonna put uh put my money here on Shockwave. These two. This is gonna be fierce. Shockwave with his first victory last week in that cage match coming off that high there. Of course, when we see Wasabi Kid, though, he has no losses. He is an undefeated champ after winning that prestigious championship the very first week here in Strange Wrestling. So we'll go ahead and get started here on our fifth matchup tonight. Prestigious Championship, Friday Night Fights. The following contest is a steel cage match. And it's for the prestigious championship. Bringing that steel cage back for this prestigious title.
Making his way down. Now. Your number one contender for this prestigious, prestigious championship. Shockwave. He fought hard. For that. For that number one contendership. That cage match last week was absolutely intense. It was a two out of three falls cage match. And that uh, faced off against Shockwave, Hamster, and Foxy. All three competitors went at it incredibly hard. But alas, right at the end, Shockwave hit the shocky thing and was able to pin for the three count. Shockwave looking to gain his first title in Strange Wrestling. Coming out now, the champion wearing that title proud. The prestigious champion, Wasabi Kid. Remember, betting will cease at the ring of the bell. He shines it proud. That cage behind him. Look at that. Need to get more creative. Thank you. <laughs> Introducing the challenger. From Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at Chocolate has been waiting for this pounds, for so long. Chris G. Now he finally has a chance at victory. I've been good, man. Introducing what you been up to, Wiseman? From Chicago, Illinois, <laughs> weighing in at 314 pounds. No. This is my uh, universe mode. I do every Friday, Friday night fights. Trying to make that bread. That's all it is, right? Working, all work and no play makes makes Rob a dough boy. I get my play on the weekends though, but during the week, making that dough. Our referee AJ holding up that championship crowd. Here it goes, folks. Hope you have your betting in. Because as that cage lowers, betting ceases. And they go at it, running straight into one another. A big belly to belly. Shockwave puts Masabi, the champ, down on the ground. It's a, uh, it, it's all customized. The uh, arena's customized. The show is customized. The wrestlers are all the ones I made. Um, Shockwave trying to make his way up that cage. Quickly, not able to do it. Kicks Wasabi in the head though. Still trying to go up. Uh, so all the titles are uh, customized too. So this one's called the Prestigious Championship. A big clothesline. Since Shockwave in that. But he's able to get up pretty quickly. The athleticism, the agility of these competitors. Ooh. Shockwave sending Wasabi down. He's back to his feet. An eye gouge. Tosses Shockwave into the ropes. S over and down. Going for a pin on Shockwave. Two counts. Shockwave kicks out. Irish whip into the corner. Shockwave with a big forearm. Dollar decided to bark at him to let him in. <laughs> Go. 
goes for a pin, but not able to do it. Now, these big forearms on the shoulders of Asabi. Shockwave going back up to the top, trying to climb out again. Asabi's back up. The champ is up. He's getting close to losing his championship. Trying to take Shockwave down. He's got him up. Oh, electric chair. Shockwave hits the ground hard. Now that's that speed, that velocity, the weight, hitting the mat like that. That's painful. Overbed the door now. A big splash. The champ. The champ asking the ref to unlock the door. The ref going after the door now. Shockwave is back up. Picks the champ up. Champ able to wiggle free. Oh, hits him in the back of the knee. Now the champ climbing up. Trying to get out quick. Shockwave grabbing the leg and tossing it into the cage. Ooh! Face first in the mat, Wasabi goes. Shockwave. Playing to the crowd. Gathering that energy as he goes up to the top of the cage himself. Wasabi, though, is there. Tosses Shockwave into the turnbuckle. Big splash. Shockwave's down. Going for a pin on Shockwave. And a one count before he picks it out. Ooh, big clothesline. Wasabi is hurt. Oh, my Lanta. Back and forth still. Throws Shockwave into the cage, into that cage door. Now with the neck wrench. Both of these men. Not only is Wasabi's title on the line, but his undefeated streak is on the line as well. Shockwave down on the mat. Wasabi trying to gather his footing on that cage. Looks like he's going up. He's up at the top now. Is he going to make it? Shockwave. He's up top. Punching the champ. The champ was almost over. Oh, my Lanta. He kicked Shockwave off. The champ kicked Shockwave off. He's going down. Shockwave is back up. He's going up to the top of the cage. The champ trying to make his way down. He's on the other side. Shockwave trying to make it up. The champ climbing down now. It looks like it's over. And Wasabi Kid retains his title. Shockwave gets to the top of the cage, but not in enough time. Wasabi Kid retains his title. Shockwave fought, but just not hard enough that match. Become the new champ. Wasabi keeps his streak and his title. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. He did his damnedest, though. And he took a beating. But he gave as much as he received. There it is. Wasabi Kid making his way. Wasabi Kid, your prestigious champion, the winner of this matchup. Wow. Something I did not expect there. All right, folks, we have two more big matches for you tonight. One. The penultimate matchup, your sixth match of tonight. It's going to be for the number one contendership for the action tag titles. We're going to see the heavy hitters going up against the saucy posse. Go ahead. Get the names in here. 
Well, betting two commits. Got the saucy posse. Got the heavy hitters. Who do you think is going to win this number one contendership match? Go ahead and add your vote. Go with the saucy bossy. I think, therefore, I shall. These are your teams. This is a... A tag KO elimination tornado. It's a tornado tag KO elimination match for the number one contendership for the action titles. So once one of your teammates is pinned or, or knocked out, actually, then... You know, it's a two-on-one at that point. It's a handicap match. Let's get started. Get those bets in. Friday Night Fights. Making their way down now. Now you see Sauce Boss there with that ultra violent championship on. He has both got and kept retained that title over two different matches. Coming with the, his tag team partner, Hot Sauce here. Sauce Boss and the Hot Sauce making up the saucy pack. Saucy Bossy. Sauce Boss, if they take the number one contendership this week then he could potentially become a dual champion. Uh, exclamation point bet, space, zero or one, whichever and one you want to bet on, space, the amount. So, like that. And here they are, the heavy hitters. We've seen th these two tagging up quite often. Uh, unexpectedly, we saw them. I, they did train a little bit together in uh, Hell Camp before they moved up to Strange Wrestling Friday Night Fights. So they do work as a well-oiled unit. crowd is not pleased in it for hurting their opponents for the gold anything they can do they will these two have been known to pull some incredibly cheap shots the booze the booze indeed and with that the bell is coming to a sound we will stop the betting Oh, and a Huracan Rana Sauce Boss. Uh, Hot Sauce takes a glaze down. Demi's and Sauce Boss going at it. Boss taking down with a headbutt. Sauce Boss kicking Demi's off, the tallest man in Strange Wrestling. A glazed hammering down those kicks on Hot Sauce, but he comes with the shoulder block. The Saucy Bossy owning the ring right now. <clears throat> Both of their opponents on the ground. Hot Sauce working that knee of a glazed. Demi's picking Hot so picking Sauce Boss up. Ooh, slams him down on the knee. Picks Sauce Boss up. Ooh, big clothesline. No, I get to a certain point where uh, where I have a full amount. I brought a whole bunch over from last year because I've done this for over a year. Uh, every now and then I'll create a new one and have them, but uh, once I get the main roster down, I just uh, I add one every every so often, so like every few months or so. Because at this point you get like stories and stuff and rivalries going on between people. But like we have we have about 30 wrestlers right now. It's crazy. Going ahead. The still steps. Dimmy's takes Sauce Boss down hard. 
Hot Sauce taking it to a glazed inside the ring though. This is a KO elimination match, so whoever gets knocked out first, and that's, those still steps could have done it to Sauce Boss over there. Ooh, Hot Sauce with a hard right. Demi's with a hard right himself. Sauce Boss taken down with a huge suplex by the Demi's. <clears throat> and a glaze now with a big drop kick. Low drop kick on Hot Sauce. Hot S Sauce Posse is down for the count. Glaze picks up Hot Sauce, puts him over his shoulders. What's he gonna do? Using that top turnbuckle, there is blood seeping out from under the mask of Hot Sauce. That seems to have not done anything but enrage him. Demi's tossing down. Oh, it was short-lived for the hot, for Hot Sauce. But Glaze takes the upper hand again. The heavy hitters are going hard. Taking Hot Sauce down. But Glaze is working him. The Demi's taking Sauce Boss outside the ring now. Oh, a Glazed has him up. What's he gonna do to the hot sauce? Holding him in the air forever. Slams him back to the ground. He's hurt. Ooh. The hard right. The sauce boss. The outside. Demi's working it to him. Able to finally get a little retaliation there. Big chop sends Sauce Boss to the ground. Hot Sauce not looking in any better shape on the inside. A Glaze picking him up. What's he gonna do? Looking for a German suplex. I can't believe he's not out. Ooh, Sauce Boss, a second wind. Taking Dimmies down, using that post. Slamming the Dimmies right into that post. Taking the back of the Dimmies. Sauce Boss slapping the inside of him. Kicks him in the head. Ooh! A glaze now. Bleeding. And Hot Sauce puts him down with the fireball. Both the men inside are bleeding now. And Hot Sauce and Demi's. Er, Sauce Boss and Demi's still on the outside going at it by the announcer table. The Demi's working it to Sauce Boss, stomping down on his gut, taking all the wind out of those lungs. A huge insecurity. A glazed hits the mat on the inside. Remember, this is a knockout elimination tag match. Number one contendership for the action tag titles. A glaze putting Hot Sauce down on the mat. The Demi's now throwing Sauce Boss back in. All four men back in the ring now. A glaze. Oh, with a big splash on Hot Sauce. Oh, and a huge flying uppercut. Demi's working down the legs of. <laughs> in sync! In synchronization! The heavy hitters. Able to. Able to pick up their opponents. Ooh. Hot Sauce using that middle rope to choke Glazed. Glazed rolls out. Hot Sauce is waiting for him. Tries for a punch, misses. Sauce Boss has a neck wrench on Demi's in here. Trying to work that neck. And Hot Sauce goes out the ring on the outside. Demi's working. Sauce Boss. A Glaze takes Hot Sauce down to the ground. The Glaze is... The heavy hitters now just dominating the matchup. 
Uh oh. Toss boss thought he had a chance. Oh, a big right! A flurry of big rights to the Dimmies. Toss boss picks him up. Another flurry of punches. Uh oh. He's thrown over the ropes. Dimmies throws him back on the inside. But he's got a second wind. Uppercut. Takes Dimmies down to his size. Down to his level. Uses that rope to slingshot him off. On the outside, Iglesias is still working hot sauce. He was able to dash out of the way. Kick to the gut. A couple of forearms to Iglesias. And inside, Sauce Boss is just taking it to the Demis. Uh-oh. Both working the crowd. They're feeling it, though. Sauce Boss is waiting. There's a flurry of kicks from... Oh! Hot Sauce immediately knocks out a Glazed. It's a two-on-one now. A Glazed gets knocked out with that kick to the head. Out of nowhere. Hot Sauce is on fire, no pun intended. They are working the Dimmies now. Hot Sauce is waiting. Hot Sauce is waiting. There it is, the fireball. Oh! Dimmies is bleeding. Is he out? A flurry of kicks from his partners. Oh, and a knee to the face. Hot Sauce is obliterating his partners. Uh, his enemy here. He's waiting for the Dimmies to get up. Is it going to be another fireball? Another fireball. He was waiting on these. And it's over. The Dimmies is out cold. The Saucy Posse are your victors today. And your number one contenders for the action tag titles. This went everywhere. Outside the ring all around. I could have swore Hot Sauce was going to lose it there. He was getting beat on for a while. But look at this. Utter display of strength. Picking up the tallest man in strange wrestling and knocking him down. Blood flowed in this matchup, everyone. Here are your winners. Cook and Pod, the prime time players. There they are, the saucy posse. They did it, everyone. They made their way. And that leads us to our final match of the evening, our main event. Coming at you. It's gonna be a three-way table elimination match. It's gonna be for the number one contendership for the act uh, for the uh, title of the Titans, the big Billy Badass title in Strange Wrestling. Who will win? Will it be Dinde Smalls? Will it be Hamster Isgo? Will it be Foxy? You guys can go ahead and get your votes in for who you think is gonna be the winner of this matchup tonight. Here are your choices. Dinde Smalls to the left. In the middle we have Hamster Isco. And on the right we have Foxy. Now last week we saw a win with uh, Dinde as him and mine with the back seaters took the action tag titles to become the first ever tag title champions here. Strange Wrestling. Of course, we saw the number one contendership of that last match. And last week, we saw Hamster and Foxy both in a cage match with Shockwave, where he won his number one contendership for the prestigious championship. However, was unable to conquer Bobby Kidd gained gain that title. 
night. We'll see these three go up and see if they can get number one contendership for the title of the Titans. Get those votes in. This is a match is starting now. <laughs> hey, Andy. Now, if we look at our uh, stats here, Hamster is one and one with his wins and losses. From Long Beach, California, weighing in at 181 pounds, Hammond. Hamster coming off that loss at last week. He's still one and one though, so he's doing really well. 50% win rate, right? <laughs> Laughing wise man. <laughs> Hamster is puffed. Look at him go. And his opponent. Second out of this triple threat matchup. One half of the action tag title holders. You know, I could actually rename Mr. Slappy Beef to Laughing Wise Man. That's it. He's the smiling. He's the smiling clown one. I don't know if you were here for that. Dende making his way in. Of course, his win-loss record here is showing two and one. Dende coming in strong with Strange Wrestling here with Friday Night Fights. And the third. His tables on the outside. Making his fantastic way down is Foxy. Beverly Hills, California. Weighing in at 253 pounds. Fox. Of course, just like uh, Hamster, Fox here, Foxy, has a 1-1 win-loss record. Very even matchup here between these three. Listen to the crowd. Listen to those cheers. The ever prestigious Foxy here. You would really think he would have that prestigious title around his... <laughs> around his waist. They are ready. Voting will cease. And it's stopping now. Hope you got your votes in. Oh, Foxy going in with the Huracan Runner to begin with. Dende, reverse neckbreaker. Hamster coming in. An arm lock. Dende able to get out. Ooh, a spear takes Hamster down. Foxy goes outside. Looks like he's going for a table right off the bat. Gonna pick up that table, all three men outside now. It doesn't matter where that table breaks, as long as it breaks. Grab that table away from Foxy. Dende and Foxy inside with the table. Hamster going down to get the second table. There is no, no time lost here. These three know what is at stake and they are w willing, ready and willing. Grabs Dinde, spins the leg. Dinde is down. Hamster set up that table in the corner. Foxy tosses him into it. It is not broken though. A big chop there. Dinde going to set it up, but he sees Foxy out of the corner of his eye. Throws him to the other table. What? What is, what? <laughs> okay, my eyes deceive me. Foxy rolls out. Hamster back to his feet. Dende knees him to the face. Oh! Holds him down. 
Hamster back to his feet though. Tosses Dindy to the table. Foxy's back. Puts the other table up in the opposite corner. We have two tables in two corners now, everyone. Foxy picking Dinde up, lays him flat with the Firefox. Hanson tries to go back. Gets a gets a hit before thrown back into the table. Huge chop by Foxy. Dinde rolls out of the way. Not enough. Oh! Rolls out of the way from that roundhouse kick. Big heel kick. Tosses Foxy on the outside. Hamster down on the opposite side by the announcer table. Dinde and Foxy now. And he grabs him in the head. Uses that apron to his advantage. Tossing Foxy down to the wood below. Picks him up. What's he got him? What's he gonna do? Foxy reverses, jumping DDT. Dinde's head goes straight into that wood. Hamster picks up and sets up the table in the middle of the ring now. Dinde tosses Foxy inside. Hamster misses a lariat. Hamster trying to go after Foxy, knocks both men in La La Land. Hamster, oh, slams Foxy to the ground. Oh, my Lanta. But he's back under the table in the corner. Dinde with a big slap. Uh-oh, Huracan Rana almost puts Dinde through the table. Foxy's on fire. Not for long, though. Bless your leg sweep. Hamster sends Foxy to the ground. Oh, face first into the mat again. Dinde is setting up. Confused, trying to make his way to his feet. Oh, Foxy reverses. Huge clothesline. Dinde back in the ring now. Arm toss. Oh. All three men going at it. Foxy able to hit both competitors. Uh-oh, Dinde. Forward slam rolls around him. Okay, all right. And a slap to the back of the head. Hamster regaining a little bit of breath there in the corner. The rope. Foxy clotheslines Dinde, knocks him down. Ooh, Hamster is there to take the advantage though. Picks Dinde up, Dinde reversal. Picks Hamster up, he's got him over his shoulders. Oh! What a move! But unable to put him through that table. He was so close. Oh! The table falls, but does not break. That's a sidewalk slam. Sends Hamster down to the mat. Dinde picking up, setting up the other table. Foxy back in, Hamster making his way to his feet. Foxy picks Hamster up. Grabs him by the head. Tosses him into the ropes. Hamster reverses. Russian leg sweep. Pops back to his feet. Dende rolls up to him. Hamster's got him. Arm lock. Dende with a forearm. Dende grabs him by the back. Sets him up on the table. No! Hamster reverses out of it. Foxy grabs Hamster. Oh, face first. Face buster. And Hamster is bleeding. There's blood coming off the, the head of Hamster, the forehead, trickling down. Did they set up on the table? Foxy going crazy. Huracan Rana, the table does not break. One table flies out. The table he attempts to put Dinde through collapses on one leg, but he uses that table as the weapon it is, hitting Dinde with it over and over. Dinde gets it out of his hands, slams him down. Foxy on the ground. Hamster's back to his feet. A big right hook. 
Big right again. Hamster using that table on Dende. Knocking him over. Boxing's back up, and Hamster uses the table on him as well. He rolls out of the way. Oh! Punches the table through it. Hitting Hamster on the head. Kick from the gut. And it's the Firefox! Calling through the crowd. Foxy grabs Hamster's arm. Tosses him over. He is humiliating his opponent now. Rolls around. Ooh, head first. That spin around power bomb. <clears throat> Dende's back up. Back in the ring. Foxy makes quick work of him. Oh, Dende jumps over. A drop kick puts that finger up. Close the line. Picks up the table now. Using it on Foxy. Hamster going after Foxy. Takes the table away from Dende. Hits him with it. Knocks him over. Foxy back in the ring. He's up. This table is set up by Hamster. In the middle of the ring. Dende takes the table down. <laughs> okay. Sets it up himself. He didn't like where it was. He wanted to put it somewhere else. Oh, the hamster ball. Oh, Foxy is down. Foxy is hurt. Then they knock it down the table. Grabs hamster by the head. Picks him up. Fisherman suplex. On the table, but his collapse does not break. Foxy egging on Dende. Couple of right punches there. And a drop kick knocks him down to the ground. Picks up the table now. What's Foxy gonna do? Uses it on Hamster. That's gotta hurt. Hamster takes it away from Foxy. Throws it down. Oh! Spinning kick. Foxy takes Hamster back down to the ground. Dende on the outside. At least he can't get eliminated while he's out there, right? Using those pro strats. Let the other two fight each other. And then just stay out there and gather your breath. Keep your energy. Conserve it. Foxy has the table now. Oh! Slams it in the gut of Hamster. Slams it again. No! Hamster rolls out of the way. Oh, but he quickly gets hit in the head with it. Dende coming in. Being in. Oh, and a spear! Takes Foxy to the ground. Foxy rolls out of the ring. Dende going to the top rope. He's up. He's looking at Foxy. Huge clothesline. I think he took himself out there too. Both men laying outside on the ground. They are hurt. Hamster takes the table outside and throws it out. Kicks Dende in the gut. Swings over. Oh, clothesline. Back and forth between Hamster and Dende and a spear. Hamster is down. Foxy tries to make his way back up. He's to his feet. Going after the table now. Guess he doesn't see Dende behind him. Oh! Dende with those punches. Throws Foxy inside. Rolls inside. All three men back in the ring. Nobody put it through, through a table yet. Russian leg sweep. Dende is down. Foxy goes outside, goes through, goes, grabs the table, throws it in. Tries for the hamster ball on Dende, but hamster misses. Dende with a clothesline. Foxy setting up the table. He's got it up in the middle of the ring. Dende <laughs> grabs the table himself, says no, tosses it down. Not like this. Foxy putting Dende into the corner. Spinning DDT. Dende goes down. Spins him around. And they rolls him around the ring. Also is standing in the corner. Hamster back to his feet. He's back in the ring. Hurricane Rana sends Dende down. Hamster using that table on Foxy. Ooh. Foxy and Hamster back and forth now. Oh, Hamster pushes Foxy out of the way. Reversal after reversal with these guys. 
Oh, kick to the back of the, kick to the back of the thigh, kick to the back of the thigh. Hamster. It's Foxy out on the apron. Foxy's hurt. Hamster just looking over him. Foxy back in the ring. Oh, gets the upper hand. Hurricane Rana. Hamster's down. Then they back to his feet. He rolls back in the ring. Picks up the table. He's got the table open. Oh, my Lanta. We saw Foxy do that last week. That over the apron power bomb. All three men outside. Foxy throws Hamster back in. Dende tries for a spear. Hamster shrugs him out of the way. And a couple of punches between these two. Oh, a backbreaker. Dende taking it to Foxy on the outside. Flips him over. Oh, and another. Neckbreaker there. Hamster's back out though. Grabs Dende. Russian leg sweep. Pops back up. Picks Dende up. Oh, Dende with a punch to the head. Right to the face. Throws Hamster back in. He's back in. Foxy's back in. All three men back in. Foxy and Hamster teaming up against Dende. Taking him to the mat. Foxy with the upper hand. Grabs Hamster. Takes him over to the table. He set him up on the table. Hamster pushes him out of the way. Oh, close lights Foxy to the outside. Foxy's right back up. Didn't even phase him. Dende's up. Grabs Foxy. Puts him on the table. Hamster's going out to get the other table. Dende has... Foxy puts him through the table with a backdrop. Sideway slam. Sidewalk slam. <coughs> it's down to Dende and Hamster now, everyone. One on one. Foxy has been eliminated. Dende setting up the table. Hamster is dazed and confused. Dende picks Hamster up. He's pulling him towards the table. He's got him set up. Grabs him. He's got him up. Backdrop again. Dende pulls out the win to become the number one contender for the title of the Titans. Oh my Lanta, what a matchup. These three competitors gave it their all. They came and they brought all the energy that they could have mustered. Three or four times those legs buckled under the table. And a competitor was unable to eliminate one of the others. I can't believe it, folks. Dende has came off the Here winner. The winner the destroyer. That number one contendership, he's ready. He's waiting. He's willing. I can't believe it, everyone. I can't believe it. He came out here and gave it his all in a Friday Night Fights. What a matchup. What a matchup here on Strange Wrestling. What is this? Wait! Folks, I'm getting this in right now. There's actually, there's actually one more match on the card tonight. Jobby is cashing in his money in the bank. That's right. There's going to be a title of the Titans matchup tonight here on Strange Wrestling Friday Night Fights. This is intense. This was completely unexpected. Jobby is cashing in his money in the bank. I can't believe this, everyone. He's held on to it for so long, for three weeks now. And he's finally going to drop it tonight. 
This is a regular one on one. Title of the Titans. King of the Castle match. He's cashing in. He's cashing in his crown. King of the Castle. For another main event. An extra matchup here on Strange Wrestling. Friday Night Fights. Oh, my Lanta. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. In the Let me get the betting set up. Get your votes in, Chroma Key or Javi Zizis. When we look at our competitor here, Javi Zizis, he won his first matchup beating Mind on a ladder match for that King of the Castle briefcase. He went a couple of weeks not winning the cash that end and not making an appearance. Until finally he lost a matchup last week that brought him one, one and one, one v one. Now on the other hand, your title of the Titans holder, your title, your tit Titan title, your title Titan title holder, Chroma Key, is undefeated, a three and zero streak. There it is, folks, cashing in his money in the bank. Referee is holding it up. Here he comes, everybody. Your champ, the undefeated, Chroma Key. A lot of bets going in here on Jambi. Hamster, you did not win. Did they actually won that one? But it got close. Jobby decided to finally cash in his King of the Castle briefcase. What a night, everyone. We are going to have ourselves a title matchup. Jobby 1-1. One one. Chroma Key 3-0. Can he keep his streak up? Can he hold on to his championship? Got a root for Chroma Key to lose a match, though. <laughs> there it is, folks. Referee AJ ready in the ring. Introducing the challenger. Our announcer, the Oracle. Get those bets in, because betting is closing right now. Introducing the champion. What City, a match. What an event. He is the undisputed heavyweight champion. Green. What a titan. Held onto that title for nearly a month. As he holds it over, hands it over to the referee AJ. Jobby sees that title. Chroma Key sees it. Here it is on the line. All right, folks. Competitor, champion. It's on. Chroma Key with a quick and swift kick to start the matchup. Not ready to get rid of that title yet. Takes Jobby into the corner. Jobby grabs the leg. Ooh, head scissor takedown. Chroma Key's filling that on his back. Jawbreaker puts Chroma Key in the middle, in the co corner. Pushes Jobby off, throws him halfway across the ring. Jobby with the snapmare. <laughs> grabs the armor, Chroma Key. Waylaying those elbows on Chroma. 
Going for a pin. One. Kuromiki, the champ, kicks out at one. Oh, and a kick to the lower back. Gets Kromaki in that arm lock. Kromaki showing that sheer power. Standing up three huge rights to the face of Jobby. Snap mirror and Jobby. He's got him in a headlock. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see those nuts in chat. Kromaki with a huge clothesline. Takes Jobby straight out. Got me back up with a uh, uppercut. Irish whips Chroma Key into the corner. And a drop kick on the back. Chroma Key goes down. The champ's in the corner. Another drop kick. Jobby puts the champ down again. <clears throat> Ooh. That big running clothesline. Arm toss. Chroma Key's back to the ground now. Jobby working the champ's legs. He can take out his legs. He can take out the champ. That must be what he's thinking here. Another drop kick to the back of Kromiki. We've seen these in almost all four of the turnbuckles. Thank you, Hamster. Oh, there he goes again. Working the lower back of the champ. Oh, but his knee buckled. Jobby's knee buckled. The champ puts him over the top rope. Slings him back. Showing the brute force and power of Chroma Key. And punched in the head of Chrome, uh, Jobby. Oh, and a knee to the face of Jobby. We've been waiting weeks for this. We didn't know when or how he would cash it in. This is a treat to see. Oh, spinning slam. Jobby goes down to the mat. To power up, right. Chroma Key picking his opponent up. Jobby with a kick to the gut. Irish whips Chroma Key into the... No! Pulls him back! Slams him head first down to the mat. Plays to the crowd. Chroma Key's up. Oh! And a flurry of clotheslines. Ducks under Chroma Key's and a flying clothesline. Chroma Key is down. He's going to the top rope. What's Jobby going to do? He's up top. Turns around. Oh, moonsaults. Moonsaults on to the champ. One, two, and a kick out by the champ. Jobby thought he had it. Jobby thought he was going to be crowned the new Titan holder. Irish whips Jobby to the corner. Chroma Key. Oh, gets put in the corner himself. Jobby picks Chroma Key up. Faces him backwards. Pushes him towards. Oh, rolls him up. Oh, mon monumentous German suplex and a two count. The champ kicks out. Jami thought he had it. That knee buckled again under him. That right knee. You can see it buckling. Coming off that loss to Scuba Steve last week at the beginning of the event. Jami's looking to get a little redemption here. Maybe some Red Dead Redemption. Chroma Key rolls out of the ring. He's on the outside now. The 10 count starts. Now if they do get disqualified, the title does not change hands. Ooh, Jobby. A lariat knocks him straight to the mat. Oh, an eye gouge to the champ. A drop kick misses. The champ rolls back in. Jobby rolls back in, both in the ring now. Oh, that knee buckling again. Jobby is hurt. He can feel it. And a scoop slam. Jobby getting pulled into the middle. Oh, smashes the elbow of Jobby. He's down the ground. He's hurt. Jobby keeps got him in a lock. Is Jobby going to give up? Is he going to tap? He's tapping. He's tapping. Jobby key wins again. He worked his opponent down quickly. Oh my Lanta. With little no effort. Takes Jobby out and gets rid of the King of the Castle. Jobby off the top rope with the moonsault. Thought he might have had it there. He had many chances. Many two to three count. Almost three counts. 
And this right here, this German suplex. Oh, my Lanta. Chroma Key is unstoppable. We thought it was over there. But this is it, folks. This is what did it. Has him in that Chroma Crunch. Here is your winner, and still undisputed. Still the champ. Chroma Key holding that title proud. Holding that title proud. Telling anybody to come. Fight me. Bring it. And that, my folks, is why he is a legend here in Strange Wrestling. 4-0. 4-0. Both him and the prestigious champion right now, Wasabi Kid, are undefeated. I think they are... One of uh, two of the few that hold undefeated streaks here in Strange Wrestling. Wasabi Kid is 3-0. Is there anyone else? Janitor Dan actually lost his match today. So he does not have an undefeated streak anymore. Scuba Steve lost, so he's not undefeated. Chroma Key. Chroma Key and Wasabi Kid. The prestigious champion and, and the title of uh, the champion, the Titan champion. Both. What an event. Well, I guess you know what this means. Next week, there will be another matchup to see who will be crowned the new King of the Castle. And we can look for that to be the main event of the evening. Uh, we'll also most likely see, well, we're actually going to see a tag title matchup as well. Um, the Saucy Posse going up against the Backseaters. But what an event we had here tonight, folks. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's, uh, it was amazing. That, uh, that first, that second matchup of the night was phenomenal. He is an absolute monster. Chroma Key is an absolute monster.